What is going on guys welcome back to another video of chat application development series in Android Studio. In last video we have successfully verified the OTP and also we have activated resend button. We are done with first and second step we are now in third step that will be enter username. So we should store the username to the Firestore database. So the logic will be if you are already the user of this application we will get some username from the database that we have stored. If we are logging in first time we should store the username to the database. That's it. So let's go back to the project. You can close everything. Let's open login username activity and activity login username. So here we have edit text button and progress bar. So go to this activity and create edit text that will be username input button will be let me in button and progress bar will be progress bar. So assign the IDs username input equals to find me by idr dot id dot username let me in button equals to find me by idr dot id dot let me in button progress bar will be progress bar login progress bar. So we have initialized all this and we will make uh, we'll go to login OTP activity we need this method set in progress so copy the set in progress method and paste it below this on create instead of next button it will be let me in button let me in button so first when we come to this activity we will get the username so if we have username in the database we will get that and show it in the edit text if we don't have username user can input the username so for that let's get phone number first phone number we have got from intent so phone number get intent dot get extras dot get string the phone so we have got phone number now first method will be get username so this we will get from firestore database so let's create a method void get username so here we will get the username from firebase so we will be using firebase method lots of time so let's make the util class so that we can add methods over there and call from everywhere so java class it will be firebase util and here we will make some method so first method will be where we have to store the information so go to firestore database and you can see there is nothing so we have to make a collection of users where we will store all the users so for that what we will do we will make a method public static document reference current user details so it will return the current user details if there is any so we will use return firestore firebase firestore dot get instance dot collection we will make the collection of users so in collection of users we will have document so document will be the users uuid users uuid will be let's check on authentication this is the user uuid this is the uid we will get from firebase and we will make that as a key to store the user information over here so that's why we are using document and here we will pass the UUID. So where we will get the UUID? We can create a method over here public static string current user ID. Here we will return the UUID. So return firebase auth dot get instance dot get UID. So this method will return UID. So here document we will check current user UID. So in this way it will return if for this user ID there is some document in the collection users then return it so let's go to login username activity now in get username first we will set in progress to true so that we will show the progress bar and then firebase utils dot current user details it will send the current user details dot get dot get it will return the current user information but we will add complete listener so that we can check new on complete listener put semicolon over here if it is completed set in progress false in the same way if task is successful if get task is successful we will set the username to the user but for user we have not created a model we will create a model for user so that we can store user information in that model let's go over here and new package let's give the package name model so in model we will create new java class that will be user model enter we will add some data that will be private string phone private string username 
and one more thing we will add is timestamp so that we can know when this account is created so timestamp just while importing the timestamp just select this com.google.firebase don't select this all timestamp we have to select this com.google.firebase it is important select this and name it created timestamp now we have to generate constructor and getter setter so right click generate constructor click on select none we will select empty constructor first again generate constructor select all again generate getter and setter so generate getter and setter select all okay now our model class is done we can close it now in get username if task is successful we will have some result in that task so tasks dot get result that will be document snapshot we have to convert that in our model class so to object model class pass user model dot class so it will convert the data to user model dot class so we can assign it to user model user model equals to this so we have got the value in this user model if it is there so if user model is not equal to null that means if data is there then set that username to username input that's it username input dot set text that will be user model dot get username so we are getting this username from database and then we are setting to username input if it is already there if it is not there user will input the username so once user will input the username we have to set the username like way we have get we have to set the username so let's create method for set username also so set username will be called when the next button is clicked so when user click on let me in button dot set on click listener use lambda here i will call the set username method that's it so when user click on login next button over here it will set the username so for that first we will set in progress to true and then we will you get the username from the edit text that will be username input dot get text dot to string and if username is empty username dot is empty will show some error message and also if username dot length is less than three we want username to be greater than equal to three characters username input dot set error username length should be at should be at least three characters and we'll return from here that means if username length is less than three we'll return if it is correct username now we will add to the database so now there are two scenarios if user already has data if user don't have the data that means user is logging in first time so here we are checking if user has already data or not so same way we will do it here but we have assigned this user model over local variable so let's not do that over here let's cut it and here i will do user model user model so that we can use it everywhere so if user model has some data here if user model is not equal to null that means user model has some data only the username new username that will be username so if user model don't have data we will set everything so user model user model equals to new user model that means it is a new user that's why we are creating the new object so phone number will be phone number second parameter is username third parameter is timestamp so user is being created so we have to pass the current time so timestamp dot now in this way we will set the data to user model now we have to save this data to the firestore database so firebase utils dot current user details dot set here we were doing get now here set what we have to set we have to set user model so it will add the data to the database but we have to add on complete listener so on complete listener so here set in progress will be false and if task is successful so if task is successful we are done with the login things we have already verified the otp now we are setting the username that is also done now we can move to main activity that means we are logged in so if task is successful what we will do intent new intent this is login username activity dot this and we are moving to main activity dot class now so before going we have to finish all the login related activities so we will do intent dot set flag here it will be intent dot flag activity new task it will be our new task and it will clear all the tasks so intent dot 
flag activity clear tasks this we are doing because we want to clear everything login activity and just open the main activity that's it so start activity intent now let's run the application and test everything run it so i will enter the phone number otp sent so i will enter the correct otp that will be this one click on next so it will trying to get the username from the database since we don't have any username it is returning empty so now we can set the username so as you can see we have numerical keypad we can go to the project since we have not changed that input type so go to login username go to this edit text so input type is phone over here let's change it to text let's rerun it now you can see text over here now we have to put the username let's try empty username first it is saying at least three character but this progress bar is going on so we have done something wrong let's minimize this so this set progress bar we will keep it here so that for empty check we don't need progress bar so rerun it now it is saying it should be three character let's input two character it's saying three character now let's input the correct username that will be test user one it is our user one so i am entering correct username now let's click on let me in so as you can see we are in hello world that means we have done successfully and we are logged in so you can check in the back end here you can go to authentication you can see phone number over here and you can go to firestore database you can see user collection over here we have the document id this id is of from authentication the id of this user will be from authentication and we have this data created timestamp phone number and username is test user 1 so we have already inserted the data now let's check our get username is working or not let's rerun the application phone number enter the OTP as you can see if we are logging in second time we have already the username now we can change the username also but I don't want to change it I will keep it test user one only so we can click on let me in so get username is also working fine and we are in main activity so we are successfully logged in since we are logged in already when we restart the application again it is taking to login page this should not happen so if we are logged in already when we open the application next time it should directly open the main activity so for that what we will do we will create a util method here we will add a method public static boolean is logged in so we will check is logged in or not so what we will do if user has current user id so if id is present if id is not equal to null that means user is logged in if id is null then we can return false so is logged in method is done so we can check this logged in from every time when we open the app so let's go to splash activity we have this three second delay we can change it to one second delay now after one second what we will do we will just check if firebase util dot is logged in if user is logged in we will start main activity directly start main activity dot class if user is not logged in we'll start login phone number activity and we'll finish this activity that's it so when we restart now it should go directly to main activity let's restart since we are logged in we are directly in the main activity if you clear the data from the application so if you clear the data of the application let me clear it now if we restart the application 
as you can see we are in this phone number activity since we are logged out we have not implemented the logged out functionality manually so we will implement that later till now we are done with the phone number authentication and login activity now we will start the main activity in next video if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye